to the day two of our four day workshop. I don't know if it's my camera or if my screen looks a bit blurry. Let me just wipe it. <laughs> it's a, such a hot day. Right, hopefully everybody had a lovely week and enjoyed the class last week. So today we are going to practice our jet overlay on the natural nails. <laughs> Hi Anna! Welcome back again. Right, so tonight we're going to practice the um, brush builder gel, like um, baby gel in the bottle, and overlay on the natural nails. I kind of grow a little bit length. I was going to chop all them off, but I thought we're going to do some overlay and a French. So we're going to paint white French tape. Oh my god, um, in this weather. So let's wish me luck. <laughs> Hi Linda. Um. Oh, let me see. Hi Rachel, <laughs> fabulous. Okay, I'm just going to switch the camera onto the table so we can get started. And uh, if you want to practice with me tonight, that's great. If you watch the replay later on, that's also great. Okay, let me just this. Camera onto the table. Sorry for anyone watching the replay, it's gonna be a bit dizzy. And hi, Farisa. We see some new names tonight. So for anyone, if you missed the last week, don't worry, you can still watch the replay um, in the, I think there's like a section says replay for all the lives. So you can watch the replay for the last week, which we did a jar manicure and, um, um, natural nail preparation so you can watch all of these videos while we're still doing the um workshop so the whole month of june you can still access the replay and watch them so if you do need feel like you need to go back to watch the beginning that's that's great you can go back so tonight i'm not going to talk too much about the preparation because you can just go back to watch the last week's video so we're going to quickly prep our nails if you practice with me tonight everyone get your tools out and practice and don't worry if you're just watching and wanted to practice after that's also fine um i'm new to your group hi catherine welcome where are you from Anna says, me too. <laughs> Hi, another Anna. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize that's two different Anna. <laughs> okay, did you guys um, manage to watch the video from last week? So that's all the natural nail preparation and then gel polish application. So there are some tips from last week's video. If you missed that, go back to watch that uh, video from the replay section um Catherine's, Catherine's from Birmingham amazing okay right guys so today we <laughs> I was really proud for my Italian <laughs> I can't speak any so I've got a message um from a lady um which I don't really know what language that was I didn't even recognize that was Italian and um yeah, so I kind of um, just Google Translate, chat GPT Translate and everything. Um, and then um, end up have a, had a full conversation. <laughs> yeah, so I'm very international now, guys. <laughs> right. Okay, so let's quickly prep your natural nails. For online masterclass members, uh, I post it in a group as well um, because I'm going away this weekend, so I won't be able to do the Sunday live this week. Um, so if you want to submit your homework for this week, then it will be um, tonight, the what we're doing tonight. Overlay with um, Builder Gel on your natural nails and French tips. Okay, so tonight we're going to use a product. Uh, um, I know you received the email with all the products in um, the list of the products you need, um, which includes all the preparation stuff like the manicure stuff as well. Um, but I am going to use our function gel, the base coat, strength in the top color, which is the same as when we're using uh, gel manicure last week. Yes, yeah? so it's the same function gel when we're using mystery products. And I'm going to choose 
blush which is a nice pinky color i've got that color on my right hand as well but you can see that's been growing about two weeks now uh, i'm just waiting for um, after tonight's class i will um, redo my whole nail so that looks a little bit growing out but that's a color we're going to use so some natural uh, natural color for the base and but doesn't matter what color you have if you don't have this color it's fine you can use different colors and i'm going to use the pro gel in white to do the uh, french tape if you don't have the pro gel white you can use your white gel polish but you might need another um like small brush help you to do the smiling line okay so that's the products we're going to use tonight and then the little brush i'm going to use to help make my application is a detail brush okay so it's like a um, small detail brush we will need okay oh my god today is really so i just push the cuticle back and then let's give it a quick buff um again i do have a little bit gel left over but we're not going to soak them off we're just going to um buff them take the oil off i washed my hands got a bit of hand cream and everything so i wanted to make sure they are removed and there's no shine at all. The preparation is exactly the same as your gel polish, gel manicure. And um, so again, um, if you feel like, oh, how come the gel doesn't go quite close to the cuticle, quite close to the sidewall? All the answer is in the video number one from last two weeks. So I do recommend you go back to have a look at that one as well. Okay corner if i can get it and then we will make sure there's no shine at all in the corner and so for anyone if you new to miss you new to our youtube channel if you haven't joined our group um make sure after the live you join the facebook group i listed the link in the description as well and so if you want to share your um, pictures your practice work there don't forget to add the hashtag 2023 nail go and that will make you to enter every post with the hashtag you will enter to our monthly giveaway this year just a way um encourage everyone to you know keep practicing the nails with us every week okay so i proper my nails now um because we're doing the overlay we're not going to add any extension any tips on um but we will do that next week so next week when we're doing the builder jaw extension we will um add in the half world tips on as well but tonight we will be using our natural nails what well, the natural <laughs> length and now i've got some gel left on so we needed to shape the free edge you know to the shape we want and remember we don't want it to file both way we just want to you can file left and right but you don't do that yeah okay so it's not like square not like a round just a between natural looking okay the nails are ready let's get rid of the dust So if you have joined my um, class um, for the brush or builder gel class, uh, normally in the class I teach the plain colors, the ink fill, um, and um, if you're doing like a clear overlay with a gel polish over the top, I go through that process. But tonight, slightly different. Um, we are going to have the colored overlay, but we are going to finish with... Um, the white French tape, which is become really popular now, and I do get quite um, a lot of questions asking uh, if you want to do a French, what's the step? So this is the video. Um, hi, DJ, how are you? Hi, Alpha. <laughs> right, wait. I've just prepped my natural nails. Now the first step, always remember, it's our base coat. Okay, so tonight. We're going to if you are doing just a color overlay it's slightly different because you don't need to do the buff and um 
Now wipe the stick in above that step, but we are going to do that tonight. So even if you join my class, this video will be beneficial as well. Okay, let's do the base coat. When we're applying the base coat, we need to make sure again, all the corners covered exactly the same as when we're doing the gel polish. And remember the technique, we're saying how to apply the gel, like where to place your brush and push it back. All that needed to be the same, yeah, same as gel polish manicure. And that's why when you're doing the gel manicure course, that's like a foundation of um, everything else like for your gel system. So a little bit of to go back. Make sure put the skin away. When the weather is really hot like this, I do recommend it to flash key after one or two nails. So it's not like a make the gel running everywhere onto the skin. When it's warm, the gel will be more runnier. Okay, I'm just going to flush cure five, 10 seconds. So lock the gel when it's not moving. So again, until we finish our five nails. Sometimes you can move your brush up and down, kind of rub the base coat into the nail bed. And don't forget to seal the free edge. So the application, <laughs> Tom, the application of brush beauty gel is very very similar to gel polish, even though it's a bit thicker. And I know some of you probably watched the video on social media, and um, you always seen this like a one beat technique. I would say if you um, are not very confident controlling the gel and you're beginners, try not to use a one bead because the world just start leaking everywhere. We will do two coats. Right? So my method is two coats, easy application, same as gel manicure. Right, now we're going to cure it for 30 seconds. While we're curing a base coat, let me just add in a little bit extra layer of the strengthener. So this is the optional step. We don't really do this during the class, the, the course when we're doing the brush up your job. But um, for tonight, the purpose of we're going to apply some colored beauty over. And I'm usually using my e file to file the color off. I do want to have a protection layer between um between my base coat and the color of the brush or builder okay so this is the optional step strengthener which we used for gel manicure as well to make the nail less bendy and last longer so for tonight the purpose is to create a clear layer um between the base coat and the colored gel unless you're just using clear builder gel you, then you don't need this layer and if you just soak nails off that's fine 
um, but because a file nails off all the time, you know when you're using the e-file and the file the color of the the color layer of you know there is a protection layer of strengthener so you know you're not touching the natural nails and the damage it so some is a lot of layers tonight but if you take your time apply each layer nice and smooth we'll save you a lot of time on fining later Okay, so all the application technique is exactly the same. And uh, I'm not going to repeat too much from last week. So the benefit of flash QH layer is, is first you can lock the gel so you're not going to smudge it or your customer's going to smudge it before putting it into the lamp you can use a small mini lamp to flash a cure or if your client's got a very sensitive nail sensitive skin they can feel the heat spike more than other people then flash a cure can kind of reduce that because um it's not like intensely and uh, cure it for 30 seconds straight away Five nails ready. Don't forget to seal the edge as well. And then we can fully kill it for 30 seconds. 30 to 45 seconds. And the next two layers, we're going to use a brush to build a job. However, if you feel like it's already loads of layer on and you already have some layers left on the nails before, like technically it's like infill more than a new set got a little bit of gel left you can just apply one coat of the brush builder gel that's for the natural nails yeah so one to two coats but we're going to do a thin coat now it's warm so the gel is more runnier which i personally prefer when it's a bit runnier and um, when it's cold in winter you probably find like it's really thick and then sticky can't get it out I normally warm up, warm it up in um, hot water or on top of the radiator. <laughs> I have a dog that's just a lot of feet working in the gel. Oh my god, <laughs> with hair getting stuck. <laughs> I can you imagine that? <laughs> I know. When you describe it, that's just uh, in my head now. Okay, so same as when we're doing a gel polish. Let's do a little bit um, recap from last week. Same, we want to wipe one side off. Yeah, one, wipe the gel off on one side of the brush, I should say that. And then um, scrub it off from the brush. And then again, we want to push it back, stay in there, and then brush it over. But let's not do it too close to the cuticle this time because the gel are thicker than the um and the gel polish so it will raise up a little bit higher okay and um i have to brush it um so let's just brush it as i probably can already see your hair can i see a little hair already <laughs> okay If we want to get it really close to the cuticle area, and um, we will use a little brush, which I do teach this on the class, and I do this in a video as well. Okay, I know the color is really light, you probably can't really see much, but that's what we want a very natural color. And uh, most of the time, to be fair, the natural color. Are I won't be bothered to use a small brush. If it's a dark color, I can see very, very obvious, then I will. Oh, I can see a fluff. 
and get that out. Okay. So we just want um, a thin layer. And now we do have to flash kill it. So when you flash kill the thumb, let me get my small lamp to show you. Under the lamp, when you flash cure, <clears throat> the thumb needs to be right top. So the customer put a hand into the lamp needs to be straight up. You can't do that under the lamp because then it will start sliding onto the side. Flash cure that. Uh, watching from South Africa. <laughs> Is it super hot in South Africa now? I know we're complaining like this is like 28 degrees in the UK. We're like, oh, it's too hot. What's the temperature there? <laughs> Rosa, please tell us the temperature in South Africa now. So we can, I can shame about myself. <laughs> Can't cope 28 degrees. Okay, again, because the brush builder gel is thicker than gel polish, so you don't really want to get the brush too close to your cuticle area and in the sidewall area, it will be easily um, getting onto the skin. If you do want to get it closer, use your small brush again. And the brush of Blue Gel is self leveling. So I'll give you a few seconds. And then when Cosmo put in a hand under the lamp to flash cure, oops, they need to be straight up. Or you can, it's it's better you get a small lamp like this and then just kind of flash cure and then lock the gel, it's not moving. And then you can move to the next one. too much when you apply too much you will know because it's that um kind of dripping on the side so the side will become thick so you don't want that we just want to do nice two cuts okay again Flash kill that. The second coat is always quicker. This is the first coat we want to get um, all the color covered. Don't forget to flash kill each nail when you apply the one layer. So this is not like gel polish. Gel polish is optional if you want to flash kill each nail, that's fine. But with the Builder Gel, you need to do every single nail one by one. Um, if you prefer, say you're painting this nail and ask your customers to put the hand into the lamp and then you do another hand like swap the hands, that's also fine. Okay. And I was gonna ask you if I'm going to do the thumb as I do the fourth and the first. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they'll think like, oh, have you forgot about my thumb? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we are flash cured and then we can put your whole hand under the lamp as normal. We'll cure that for 45 to 60 seconds. Okay, I 
we are going to do two coats tonight and just because I want to do a little bit of buff and fining, cover that step um, in case you need to. Um, if you applied really nice and smooth and you feel like I don't need to do any fining, um, you can literally just top coat it. But we're going to do the French tip tonight. You can just apply base coat and um, do the um, French tape. But we're going to do a complicated way tonight, yeah. So, for example, if you feel like I've not applied it properly, I want to do it. Um, I want to do a fire and a buffet. So this is why we're doing two coats and then we'll do a bit of fire and a buffing. I'll cover other possibility. Mm -hmm. So second coat. Exactly the same. So you probably feel like, oh, this is just the same as painting the gel polish. You know what? It is. <laughs> it is very similar application wise. The difference is it is a builder gel, so it's much thicker than the gel polish and it's more hard wearing. And then if you want to do extension, you can just use gel polish to do extension, but you can use the brush builder gel to do extension, which we will cover next week. And also, you can fire and buff shaping the brush builder jar, but you cannot file shaping the jar polish because it's just going to remove it. Okay. And then um, you can infill the builder jar, but you cannot infill jar polish. And this is for people who find um, gel polish is not hard enough to hold the natural nails. And they want to, a little bit between false nails and natural nails, they need a bit extra help to hold the natural nails, not bendy, not chipping, that kind of thing. And then um, I know some people just like, purely like the colour. Because it's a little bit thicker, so give you that um, the depth of the nails, if you know what I mean. Because you can't add in the color into the builder gel like doing marble design, so it looks like the marble inside of the color. Okay, just flash kill, and as long as we know the gel is not moving. We're going to move to the next one. This will be like a perfect wedding nails. If someone already have a long nail bait, don't want to do, have any extension, but just want that natural color covered and um, guarantee is gonna last a better than gel polish you know for the honeymoon <laughs> or for the drunk wedding night you never know so it's a bit more um security <laughs> than the gel polish Last one. And then we are going to kill it again. 45 to 60 seconds. Right. Next, because we're going to buff the surface to smooth it, it still has the sticky layer. Okay, so now we are going to remove the sticky layer after curing. And if you have the gel cleanser, you can use that as well. Um, I use the gel remover sashes a lot. So I just did that. One by one, putting a finger under the UV lamp. Yes, Anna. So you've got to at least flash kill it, like what I'm doing 
uh, with a little lump. If, if you have the big lump, what you can do is um, pretend that's a big lump. You do your well nail for customer and you ask her to put a hand under the lamp and then you can start doing another hand so you just keep swapping the hand one nail at a time so they're not like um, leaking and um, um, like getting sticky onto the nails if you want to get a smooth surface and then you don't want to foul and buffing so you, if you don't want any color now you can actually just top coat it you don't really need um, fanning shaping and buffing but we are going to do it tonight and so this is this step we're going to do so we need to wipe the sticky layer off and remember wipe it from your cuticle area towards the free edge you don't wipe it back to the skin you always wipe it towards to the free edge so for anyone did in my course this is a little device <laughs> something we so a lot of this we mentioned in the class okay now we are going to shape and buff um, i'm not going to do a lot of fanning because the, most of the surface are quite nice and smooth already um, so I'm just going to use a buffer um, instead of like a hot file because when you use the file you will file a lot off which we don't want to just smooth the surface so we can paint the front tip you don't really want to use a file to blend around the cuticle area unless it's a clear beauty gel that's why we use a small brush around the cuticle area give us dust of the dust <laughs> and have a look in the shape okay next one you can actually buff all nails and then coming back to shape them. So again, make sure cover all the corner. If you can, if there is any bump, you will see. Once we put a gel on, the natural nail shape will change slightly. So we'll go back to make it straight again, especially when we're going to um, apply the fringe, fringe tip. Exciting. <laughs> okay. Next. So the fining is not a lot, really. Just a little bit buff. That means when we are planning the gel, we want to take our time making you know nice and smooth. Check that side and that side. Make sure they're straight. You don't really need to go around the critical lodge because you don't want to find that color off. So after after the buffing, you can see it's the surface is more smooth now. You don't want to do big fanning. 
that's why the buffer comes handy because there's a sponge can cover a bigger area than um the file and also not as harsh as the file does this look quite straightforward no one's got any question <laughs> Okay, quite straightforward. Yeah. Make sure you brush off all the dust, especially underneath the nails as well. Because you know when you've got a little bit of dust, it's annoying when you're doing your job. We're all happy with this step so far. So now we have the overlay on the natural nails now. So that's the overlay is done. Okay, now if normally you can just use the gel polish all over that if you want like a paint over the nails, you can just paint the gel polish all over. However, we want to do the um, French tape and you want that smiling like quite nice and sharp and um, you know like a look like a bit bitty that type. So we are going to add a layer of base coat to create that smooth surface. So normally you don't need to use the base coat. I said that we're doing a complicated version tonight. You don't have to use base coat if you are just want to... So for example, if you just wanted to paint gel polish on the overlay now, that's it. Just use a gel polish straight away. But we are going to create French tape and we want to... Um, make that smiling like really nice and sharp so we are going to create a smooth surface because now after buffing the nails um it's a little bit rough surface doesn't matter like which grades of the buffer you use still a little bit rough so basically the gel kind of fill up the uh all the rough bits um it's winter. It's it's winter this wide of the world. Oh, it's winter. Oh my god. Wow, my geography is so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> um is it cold there in winter or is it actually still warm? <laughs> if you're telling me your winter is like a 20 degree, then is that what's on my <laughs> Yeah, of course, because Australia is, is opposite as well. Okay. Clean this coat. Make sure all that covered. Okay. Don't worry too much if you didn't really get the base cut around the cuticle area because mainly we want to smooth the area we want to do the French tape. Yeah, because the top coat will just cover everything later on. But then you ask me, why do you not just paint the base coat halfway through the nail? Don't bother about the other half. Is anyone thinking about that? Paint these and um, and I'll tell you my reason why I didn't paint just a half of the nail. So, for example, why don't you just do half and then not bother about that half? Because the French tape only cover this side. Okay, let's cure that. Okay, so 
So my reason is because if you paint half of the nail, then you paint um, French tape on the end. So where the end is, they're adding loads of layer on and the back is less, like three layer less. And then your whole nail will go bumpy, like not very smooth. So that's kind of my reason. Okay, so now you can either use your white gel polish or I'm using a um, pro gel, white pro gel. So I can use the small brush inside of the um, pro gel. Again, you don't want a lot of gel on. I love like an old bottle because there's not a lot of gel all over the brush. Okay. And now, because there's short nails, I'm not going to do really wide fringe. So I'm just going to do a short, short, do you call it short fringe or small fringe? Like not as thick. What's the word for it? Okay, so you can either use the gel to start doing the um, the French tip and then use the fine brush to correct the smiling line or you can draw the smiling line first and then fill it up. So that's up to you. And because it's quite small French tip, I will just use a small brush from the pro gel. If the French tape getting wider, you are going to use your gel polish brush. So you can feel a bit more gel onto the um you know onto the brush. So it'll be a bit quicker. Make sure you cover all the corner. And then just correct it. If you use gel polish, you need a two coats of white. Like each coat needs to be thin. And with a pro gel, we just do one coat. And use a tip of the brush. Keep going <laughs> back and forward to check it. Okay, once we're happy, flash kill. Definitely flash kill it. You don't want to smudge it at all. Okay, that's cute. 10, gray, 10 degrees, it's winter. Oh my God. Our winter is like a minus. 10, 10 degrees, still quite warm. <laughs> How hot it goes in, in summer, I wonder. Okay, second nail. This is the way you actually holding the customer's hand in this way. When you're doing a thumb, it's always a bit awkward, like your own thumb, because the looks different from how you're holding your cosmos hand and then we'll do a constraint like there that's how wide i want the french tape gonna be and you kind of draw the a like you draw okay, so you decide how thick you want the smiling smiling light to be Use the tip of the brush, like a very sharp tip of the brush, to correct that smiling eye. And then we cover the side to kind of fill up the gaps. Good. 
And once we fill up, we'll go back to tidy up. So when you start it, you don't want to do it too thick, the French tape. Because when you start tidy up, you can add the thickness on. Okay, you might need to go over a few times to tidy up this manual. So we're looking this way and that way. Both sides always look both sides. From your view, from customer's view. Hmm? Okay, let's kill it. So if you're doing like um, French and the toes, it will be much easier to just draw one straight line. So next one, when we're drawing a guideline for the smiling line, you don't want a lot of products on a brush. So normally you will <laughs> rest your little finger onto a customer's hand, but because of my own hand is a bit awkward. So we draw a straight line and then draw an A shape so we would have a guideline how deep the tip is going to be and then kind of just round that corner. Okay, Ooh, I just smudged a little bit. This is why we always start um, quite a thing, because when you when you kind of correct the shape, you just keep adding and adding, make it thicker and thicker, and you end up having a really thick um, white tape. So let's say if you if we didn't apply base, let's see. Mm. Not sure if the internet cuts off. Oh, as I come back now, guys. Can you see my hand now? I ref kind of refreshed the uh, screen and um Looks fine now. <laughs> Didn't realize and just uh, says I need to reconnect. You're back. Here we go. <laughs> fab, fab. Let's carry on. I know this is not the best of choices of French nails <laughs> in this weather. <laughs> okay. Uh, and straight line and then. To the side, the side. Okay, so this brush and the from the bottom is actually quite soft, so you can do both sides to draw that smiling eye, which is handy. My favorite. <laughs> So this French nail is actually it's always been re like still really popular. I wonder <laughs> when will when will 
will be like, no one wants French nails anymore. I know a lot of salon actually doesn't really um, do French nails or French manicure. So if you practice this and get it perfect, it can be one of your selling points. Just that super neat French manicure. Okay, check that way and that way. Hopefully, I'm not going to smudge it before I do the lamp. Flash cure. I want a friend. I want the French like this thing. I will be. Um, it will be wide when I want. Oh, sorry. When I want to French like this thing, and I know I think that's the um, very common problem. Is you start it there then it's going to be thick. You always start thinner. And then when you crack the shape, it will add a little bit of thickness. Okay, so we we'll start now thinner. And then you can keep adding it wider until you're happy with it. If you start it too wide straight away, it's going to be harder to you know, make it thinner. It's just like my weight. I always find it's easier to put away time than <laughs> lose it. I can just put it at, what, two kilograms in a day and it takes me about a week or month to get rid of it. So we start thing French <laughs> and then it's easier to add a little bit of thick after. So now I'm kind of adding a little bit thicker. Okay, checking that side and that side. Okay. Seems all right. Need a little bit of color in the corner. Okay, now we can fully kill it. 45 seconds. And after all that, we just need the top coat. Okay. Ten more seconds. So how do you guys feel so far? <laughs> Want to give it a go? Um, you love French, I hate French tips. Am I holding my, holding my breath doing it? You know what, I used, I always say that um, I need to hold my breath and they're doing any nail art or doing any French tip and things like that. Um, and then, when I start doing more and more videos and the lives and then class, I feel like I have to talk as well while I'm drawing. So you kind of get used to it. So now we are topping coat, topping coat, we are top, applying top coat. Make sure to seal the edge. And then after the sealed edge, always brush over again so you don't have a lump there. You know what? I quite, actually quite like it. But I'm not going to have a French because <laughs> I can't match on this hand. So, that's the top coat. And 
Uh, if you're practicing with the gel polish, the white gel polish, remember you need two coats here. Yeah? Two thin coats. The first coats always look a little bit bitter, like not as neat as well. So don't worry when you apply the second coat of the white, it will smooth it out. So all the products I used is in the description as well. So if you didn't get the email wondering what I used or what color I used, everything is in the description of this video. And for a planning top coat, you don't have to kill each nail, like every time you kill each nail. Um, but it's just um, my personal habit is I always smudge stuff. I just give it a quick and flash kill. When I used to do client's hand, I always let them swap the hand. So I do one nail at a time. A little bit top of there. That is why I want to do flash kill all the time. I don't want to get in any chance to leak under the skin because that will cause the lifting. Okay, fully kill it 60 seconds. Whew. I'm not sure how many of you actually practice with me tonight. I know a lot of you are going to watch the uh, replay, so probably you watch now is a replay. But if you do have any question when you watch the replay, you can still uh, put in a comment or you know where to find me in the Facebook group. Okay. So let's just finish this queuing practice and it's practice there. <laughs> and as always, the one during the practice uh, to get it done, <laughs> it's better than. Um, Take stuff out again for another day. Okay, almost done. So that is my gel overlay on the natural nails with French tape. And then I just to put a bit of cuticle oil on. You don't want it too much. And again, don't rub on top of the top coat yet when it's still warm. So for any of you, if you haven't joined our Facebook group yet, the link is in the description again. Um, what we do there is share our work with the hashtag 2023 nail goal, which is in the description as well. You can enter our giveaway every month by sharing, by practice nails and sharing your work with us. Oh, I actually quite like it compared to this one. <laughs> Going out a lot. No color looks dirty. <laughs> Fresh ones always look nicer. Um okay, let me let me put my camera back before I say goodbye. Oh my god, my screen is really blurry. I don't know if it's because the heat or something. Something on my screen looks blurry. Cool. Let me see what I missed. Uh, here's my practice hand. Just had a French done today. There we go. Right, lots of practice. Um, and then just ignore my um, <laughs> messy wardrobe. So I still don't have my new background because normally I don't really show my face so it doesn't really matter what's in my back but if I'm doing more this kind of life I probably need to put a background there but it doesn't matter either. <laughs> it's my nail more important. Um, hopefully you enjoyed today's class and the practice. Next week we're going to use brush builder gel again, but we are going to do extension and doing the ombre, which we don't really cover that on the class as well. So I wanted to do that. Um, and for anyone missed last week, 
I do recommend you to go back to um, watch the proper preparation of the natural nails and gel manicure because they cover a lot of basic stuff um, that um, like how to make the nails last longer, how to prep it, how to remove the cuticle, things like that. Yeah, how to file it and get rid of all the shine, make sure um, the, the products will go as close as the cuticle area. So I covered all that time last week. And then during the whole month, we're doing a workshop. You can still go back to watch the replay. And after that, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with the video. I prop because I do do want to um, maybe retake some videos in the future. But um, at the moment, you can watch the replay. Uh, I can't promise anything after this month. So if you do need that, then go back to watch the video last week. Um, and I'll be back next Wednesday to do the extension with ombre design and this song they will want to have the live so I'll mention this um, at the beginning but if if you are the members from our online master class you can hand in the homework which is the overlay with a french tip by next monday midnight you can earn your 200 points okay right any question can message me find me on group wherever you find me <laughs> Okay, I'm going to finish the live tonight and um, have a lovely holiday. Oh, thank you very much. I need to pack my <laughs> pack my backpack. Pack my backpack. Oh my god, that's like a tongue, tongue tester. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and um, enjoying your weekend as well. I will see you next week. Bye.